Hey, what's up? Welcome to my crib. Come on in. I'm just kidding. This is not my crib. Maybe one day it might be because I buy and sell a lot of houses. But in the meantime, it's my newest listing. We're up here at 9200 Swallow up in the famed Bird Streets, AKA my territory, the king of the Bird Streets. Let's go, let's go check this out. I think you guys will be pumped to see this. We're sitting on about 8,300 square feet of awesome, modern, bird streets, mansions. You ready for the money shot? So each house has a money shot, right? And uh, I fall in love with houses for different things. My favorite part of this house is this shot that you're about to see right now. Let's go. Yeah, that view is the quintessential LA view. We got the infinity pool that leads to the view, but I love those five palm trees because it just reminds you where you are. We're not in Boston anymore, Josh, are we? That's right. I've sold this house multiple times and I love it. And each time the buyer is so happy with their new house. And uh, there's a lot of entertaining going on in this house. In fact, come over here, check this out. So this entire side of the pool lights up with fire. How cool is that? So you got your infinity pool leading to the fire that goes out to the city here. What makes this room so dramatic is the ceiling height. So in Doheny Estates up here, 14 feet is the max that you can get on one floor. You don't see that very often. The amount of money on some original spec houses that are spent, they only like to go maybe 11 feet or 12 feet because well, the higher the ceiling, the more bucks it costs. And well, 14 feet here, they spent the money where they needed to. So one of the great aspects of this house is that it's all open living. Not just you walk in and a couple rooms are open to the outside. There's really that open living feel throughout the house, which is great. Like this is not a real wall right here, right? This is just a partition that was built for the art collector to put two really nice pieces of art on each side. You have four bedrooms up, you have your office, elevator, dining, living, uh, and kitchen. It's everything you need up here. So this is the office on the main floor over here. My favorite part about the office is they did this awesome built out where uh, today in COVID world, this is actually an amazing, probably most valuable part of the house because you got a, well, a serious office to do your work in if you're not heading to the office these days. This is what would go down if Altman owned this house. Yeah, yeah, the Bird Streets, uh-huh. Yeah, 15995. Yeah, well look, man, let's, let, let's just talk about this because I think it's the best. You see that, you see that indoor flow? It was so smooth. It literally just, next thing you know, you're outside, you're inside, and you gotta, re oh, come see this, come see this, really. Real quick, let's take a detour off of this house. Look up there behind me. That is, that is what goes down in the Hollywood Hills. I'm sorry, I would not do that job. I mean, that tractor driver, you know, more power to him. Uh, I, I would never do that. Downstairs, you got some more, you know, tricked out stuff in this property, but everything you're doing is really single level living, although it is a two story house. Now for me, I feel like every house should have this. This is uh, uh, Fleetwood accordion doors that open the bar up. So this is typically closed, but you can open it up. You're entertaining, your passion drinks out. You got the kitchen over here. The kitchen is a chef's kitchen, uh, which probably, uh, I'm not sure how often it gets used by chefs, but you know, it's got all the appliances that you want, all the state-of-the-art Wolf appliances. Um, you got the Gagano uh, stove, which is, uh, you know, it's a serious stove seriously cool looking. Um, and uh, what I actually like, which is funny, because you don't think about this, this extra piece that they put on top allows people to sit around the bar of the actual island, which people don't think about a lot, but it makes sense. And uh, oh, I'm gonna show you a couple more houses that actually uh, are also for sale. 
So this one is your typical uh, Melrose craftsman style house. Uh, this is on the market for $1.8 million. It's custom for gingerbread people. Now the next house over here, this is in Beverly Hills and actually Beverly Hills post office. We call it BHPO. The roof is brand new and comes with a M&M warranty. Now the third is actually in Hollywood Hills East. So you really get more bang for your buck. You see, if this was in the Hollywood Hills, it would be 3 million, but it's only 2 million because it's in Hollywood Hills East. Which gingerbread house do you like the best? One, two, or three? Subscribe, comment. Which gingerbread house do you like the best? And maybe I'll let the owners know because they built those houses with their sweat and tears and love. And then check this out. Look in here. See that? See the LEDs in there? Isn't that cool? Now it's blue. What color do you think is gonna be next? I'm gonna go with red. Uh, we're going to purple. Should've known. All right, let's go. All right, you wanna go to the master? Come on. Um, so this is cool. So the doors, uh, they pocket. So these are the master doors, but during the day, you put them in there and the doors don't get in the way and they pocket. Wet bar, which is a must when you got a uh, proper master bedroom. The way that this bed is situated is to take in the view and take in the pool. Let's see, I mean, you're in your bed, right? You're laying down, one, two, three, four, five, five and a half steps into your hot tub. That's, that's pretty awesome. Love the stone in here. This is the beautiful master bath. Tons of privacy, but also tons of light. And again, the pocket doors, the Fleetwood pockets. I mean, this is where the money was spent on this house. And I actually sold this house. Uh, I represented the developer who built this house. And then I sold it to my own client. Uh, and then I'm reselling it for my client. So uh, everybody's very happy. They all had the best. Uh, experience with their realtor, I heard. You guys wanna head downstairs? Come on. Oh, actually, you'll like this. Come check this out. So this is very cool. This is a uh, black Venetian plaster. Look at this, this graph uh, sink. So basically, you know, it's very cool. I think it's super unique and I like how they match the, the stone to the wall behind you the LED lights throughout the ceiling in this house all turn. So if I want a different color, I go on my phone, I press blue and it's blue. Right now it's red, because I'm feeling red. Come on. Okay, down here we got a little more of the entertaining section. You got the bar upstairs, but this is the bar for the movie theater over here. You know, stocked, could be stocked maybe a little more, but you know, maybe they don't drink as much as I do. Um, but they do have an awesome wine cellar. And again, the colors of the wine cellar change color, and it all leads into this awesome movie theater experience. Let's check it out, come on. This is a big movie theater, right? You guys see that? You see the size of this? So I like this because you got a couple different choices here. You got the, the lounging all across, like it's like when you're in a plane and no one's in your aisle and you just kind of lay across. Or you got the individual first class seats here. That's a 135 inch screen. When I do show this house, we have, I don't know, like a James Bond. I always go James Bond when in doubt. Any of like the Fast and the Furious, those always do well for showings, especially the race scenes. You gotta, you gotta know this stuff. There you go, Josh was here. You see that? Kinda. Okay, so check this out. Everybody knows I'm... <laughs> Everybody knows I'm a big dog fan. Multiple rescues, uh, my dog Diego passed, but I love him and think about him all the time. Um, but this is somebody who built this with the same vision that I have and they built a doggy uh, shower right here. So you come in from your walk, you take this, dog goes there, washing the dog, it's all good, it doesn't get everywhere. 
Because the other option is just shower with your dog, which I'm not afraid to say that I shower with my dog. Um, it's the easiest way. Uh, I, do, I, I wash my dog first and then I wash me. So yeah, that's what, that's what I do. As far as the area, you know, you're surrounded by some of the best real estate in Los Angeles. Uh, this next street in front, which is Nightingale. Uh, I know that there's a house that was just finished that's supposed to be worth around 125 million. Next door to that, there's one that's supposed to be 90 million. A lot more being built around here. That's what you get up here. You know what's funny is actually, I was showing this house one time. I showed it to Floyd Mayweather. Um, Floyd's awesome. You know, we know a lot of celebrities. We don't really geek out on that stuff, but you know, the champ was in the building. So we took a picture with him. Uh, and I'll find that for this episode. But that's it, 9200 Swallow Drive, Doheny Estates, the best of the best up here in the Bird Streets. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, why would you not wanna buy that?